guys, Sean with American Window Concepts. I've had customers recently who've asked, is it safer for me just to do a new construction window, pull, break all stucco, replace their windows with nailing flange windows? Because they've heard a lot of bad stuff about flush fin windows. Well, let's get into that. So I hear this again and again of people who get a retrofin window installation in their home only to have leaky windows during a stormy day or what have you, got some, some rain coming and it going into their house. When you have so much of this online, it really gives retrofin windows a bad name. I have done so many years of this style of installation, new construction installation, you name it. But the thing is, is there is a right way to do a retrofin window. And most people don't even know how to do it. As easy as it actually is, they'll do something completely wrong. I've seen it. They take the back of a retro window, the flange, and squirt caulking in a zigzag fashion, and then they put it into the house and go, that's gonna be just fine. I look at that and I just scream and I actually comment, this will not hold water, I swear. I get so furious, really, when I see somebody saying, well, this is how you install a retro window, and it's absolutely the worst possible way. When people come back and there's backlash online, oh, you just a crappy way of doing an install because they always end up leaking. I guess there's a leg to stand on if there's installers who are installing that way, right? It's a given. The first good torrential rain, you're gonna get rain water inside your home. It's a guarantee. This sad truth, about retrofitting windows. I would hold a, a lesson. Anybody who is a window installer, there is AMA training available on how to install new construction windows, retro windows, and so on. Retrofin windows, when done properly, is an excellent solution. You don't have to break stucco. You don't end up having to do paint. You don't end up having to do you know, repairs to your interior drywall. None of that. Done correctly. I just want to reiterate, I've said it before, and is there's a right way and a wrong way to do everything. When it comes to retrofitting windows, step one, you leave the main frame in, and second is going to be where you set your primary sealant for your window. Where you actually put the bead of caulking as a primary on the main frame before you put your new retrofin window, that's probably the most important thing right? You have to have that primary on there and it has to be good caulking. It cannot be some cheap, you know, $2 stuff that you pull off the shelf. And oh, by the way, you have to make sure that if you're doing vinyl, it has to be able to stretch with the vinyl. Because here's the, here's the thing, as wonderful as I think vinyl windows are, yes, they do expand and they do contract with hot and cold. It's going to happen. If you're using proper caulking, to allow for the expansion and contraction of vinyl. It will stick to the vinyl, to the main frame that you're adhering it to. You're great. You don't want it to dry and crack. So just check your properties. Make sure that the caulking that you're using is specific for vinyl windows and doors. Done properly, a retrofin window is excellent. If you want to break stucco and you want to do reflashing and nail flanging, that's also really cool. It's gonna cost you a little more because there's more labor, there's more haul away, there's more to repair. Typically, a retro style of window is what the majority of our customers go for because it's just, it's just easy. I hope I wasn't too passionate about this, but this is just something that I see a lot online and I always go to support the vinyl window. The reason why is because I know there's a right way to do it. There's a lot of companies out there that do it the right way. And the thing about it is using the right techniques we're happy, the customer's happy. All right, guys, well, that's enough for this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. Talk to you next time. Hey, guys, if you live in the Ventura or Long Beach area and are interested in a free in-home estimate, go to our website, AmericanWindowConcepts.com, and we'll reach back out to you as soon as possible. If you guys find this information valuable and you want to continue to learn more about windows and doors, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.